going to be taking you along in this video of how I'm planning and prepping and hosting a Thanksgiving dinner for about 16 people. It's uh, also a combined birthday party for my husband because his birthday is around the same time as Thanksgiving. Our Thanksgiving here in Canada is early. It's the first weekend of October. So it, I don't know if you're in the States. You guys still have some time but this week earlier in the week I've been basically like doing my list of what I need to buy. gather things from the basement and bring stuff up putting it like behind me on my dining table just like gathering things that I need a lot of like back and forth going to the store to the dollar store um, yesterday I did my Costco run so I bought my turkey my ham, I got some floor arrangements already pre-made so I don't even have to, you know, do floor arrangements which was really helpful. The day before the party, it's Friday so my party is tomorrow on a Saturday even though Thanksgiving is Monday but I like to do it on the Saturday so I can relax the rest of the weekend and I will just kind of like, you know, take you along of how I'm planning and prepping. So today it's like setting up the tables, getting the cutlery ready, uh, last minute shopping, things like that and then tomorrow's portion of the video will be more of like the cooking and prepping and things like that in the actual party. So I might have to do them two parts, we'll see. And um, yeah, I have my grandparents here from Europe. They're here for six months helping me out with the kids and the house and just everything. So I'm going to have a lot of their help, which is really obviously helpful. Uh, because man, if you're hosting a dinner party like this, it's so much work. It's exhausting. And I used to enjoy doing these a little bit more when I was younger, but as I'm getting older and I just like, you keep on having more kids, it's just more chaos. And I find that I'm not enjoying these parties as much just because it's so much work and stuff. But anywho, I have a lot of help, so I can't complain. Let's get into it. All right, so I find that a lot of the Thanksgiving stuff is done days prior, even a week before. I like to be extremely organized when I'm planning this dinner party just because so much goes into it. And if you're not organized and you don't do things days in advance, you're scrambling the day of. So this is the day before our party and of course we're setting up all the tables. We probably could have done it even like a couple days before but my work schedule is pretty flexible. I was home and I also didn't want to have things set up because of the baby and stuff. He would probably be climbing on these chairs and tables. I have my grandparents here which I mentioned before it's such a blessing. As you can see they're so hands-on. They help with everything and I'm just so blessed to be spending this Thanksgiving with them because we rarely do that. I think this is actually the second Thanksgiving in my entire life that I've spent with my grandparents because they live in Poland. So really, really special to me. Hot cold, whisper gently saying you don't know how to keep on trying. It shows something's changing in me. It shows Now I'm highly breathing There's no bad blood Way to go Oh, that corona Without a cold Bad flows Tell us, we pray to get this Now we pray to get this Ooh, 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 ooh But we both know So why can't we just give it a go? So back to life we don't know Cause when 
had such a good time decorating with my grandma. It's things that I never get to do just because they live so far. So these little moments I really, really cherish. Obviously, it's nice to have an extra helping hand, but it was just, you know, the fact that I've never done that with my grandma. I never had that chance. So really special moment. And you could tell she was loving this too. So I'm just, you know, I'm getting choked up even saying this. It's just been such a nice time having them here and really cherishing those lost times. Oh man, I think I'm gonna end the video here and do the continuation tomorrow of how I cook and everything. The tables I think turned out really, really good. I'm just too tired to even be excited about them. Um, but they look really cute. I'm really happy with everything. So it's about nine o'clock. I'm just gonna have a tea and probably go to bed. I gotta pop the turkey in tomorrow for 7 a.m. A big boy so it's got to be in there for a while um, <laughs> and that's it so I'll see you guys tomorrow I don't know if this will be a separate video or just a continuation but I'll see you then I kind of lied when I said I was going to bed because then I forgot that I had to do this floor arrangement for my kitchen buffet. I needed something really grand because that's where I was going to be putting my food. So here we are just doing this quickly before I make my tea and actually go to bed this time. But gently saying you don't know how to keep on trying It shows something's changing in me It shows now I'm highly breathing There's no guideline, way to go Hold that corona without a goal That goes to last big baby
now the whole goal was to film exactly how I'm cooking everything and then when the guests arrived, how our party went, but I'm not good at multitasking while filming yet, so my apologies, but that basically got skipped over. There's a few snippets here ahead of me just doing a few last minute things before guests arrive, and then I was able to quickly do a screen of all the food laid out, and then that's when I cut out. So. My apologies if the video <laughs> just kind of came to a halt, but I will do better on my endings in the future. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, enjoyed watching me and my grandparents and Pat setting up for this party. I hope you liked the tablescape and maybe gathered some inspiration if you guys haven't had your Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. There's the birthday boy. Agnes, do you want to be in my video? Well, you are in it already. All right, let's eat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patrick. Happy birthday to you. Are you? Are you? Are you? Take a train ride just to see. Please